So my name is Julia and today we're going to be doing a flow for flexibility and also to build strength. So let's start in a butterfly pose. So bringing the soles of the feet together, sitting on your seat bones. You can also use your hands to open your feet like a book. And then just slowly roll the shoulders down the back and let's just take it into a forward fold. So bending those elbows in towards the body, dropping the head. And let's just allow this moment to really ground down, settle into the class. If you're quite flexible in the hips, you can also drop the forearms in front of the legs, palms facing up and let that head drop even more. As we breathe here, we're really trying to move the crown of the head further away from the body and dropping that chin in towards the chest to allow deep relaxation. You can close the eyes here and let's just start to ground down. Maybe take a moment to set an intention for the class. Maybe as we're working with both flexibility and strength, we want to think about endurance. So see if you can hold to your stamina throughout the whole class, or even just holding one specific pose that might be tough for you today. See if you can endure and stay calm and work on that softness of the mind. Let's take two more deep breaths here. So really enjoying this hip opening. So deeply breathing in through the nose, feeling that breath travel all the way down the spine and really relaxing into the lower back. And let's sigh out the mouth, feeling yourself on the exhale, fold even deeper. Last one together, inhale. And exhale. Slowly walk your hands over to the right side. So we're just going to take both hands over there. Drop your head down again. And hopefully with this left arm flex, you're going to be able to feel that nice deep stretch all the way down from the arm to the lower back. So this should feel really good if you've been sitting all day or if you've just woken up. Maybe you want to move a little bit here, seeing if you tilt to the right. How does it feel if you tilt to the left? Or maybe you want to just hold here for one more deep breath. And exhale. And then bringing that right hand to the other side of your knee and bringing the left arm up overhead. We're going to take a side stretch here. Maybe you want to bend at the elbow a little bit and pulse. Making sure you keep that chest nice and open to the sky. Breathing here. Dropping the shoulder from the ear. One more deep breath. And then left hand comes down. This time right arm goes up over the ear, taking a side stretch on this side. Inhaling, lengthening those fingers away from the body. Exhaling, maybe taking those bends in this elbow. Opening that chest up to the sky. And exhale. And then slowly bringing those hands back down again, just taking that nice side stretch over this way. So both hands over to the left, dropping the head down and feeling that nice stretch along the right side body. If you don't feel anything, maybe try and tilt a little bit towards the left side of the body and then you'll feel that stretch open up on the right. Inhaling and exhaling, really deeply getting into those hips, getting into the lower back. And then slowly coming back through center, tuck that chin in towards the chest and find yourself rolling up, seated. Now let's make our way to tabletop position here. So having your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees, tuck those toes under and let's just start bouncing back and around and forward. And then coming back and around and forward. So we're really getting a nice stretch in the soles of the feet, also stretching out the wrist, which is super important. We're working a lot with texting and computers, so it's really nice to just give the wrist some love. And then swap directions, moving as forward as you'd like. Putting a little bit of pressure on those hands just to get that nice tension in, getting a nice stretch. And slowly coming back to center. Bringing your fingers to face the outside of the mats here 
And then we're just going to rock from side to side. You can flatten out the tops of the feet on the mat this time. And maybe making those small circles, making sure that if there's any pain, you just stop and come out of it. Don't worry. Especially if it's your first time, it can be quite intense, stretching the wrists out. And then if you feel comfortable, you can embed those fingers in towards the body, tuck those toes back under, and let's just rock back and forward really gently. So you can feel that nice stretch along the forearms here. And then, yeah, we can obviously try and work on some of the more aesthetic parts of the body. Obviously, it's nice to strengthen the glutes and, you know, stretch the legs so you can do splits, but these beginning parts of the practice are really for you for the parts of your body that maybe sometimes go amiss, even though our feet and our hands do a lot for us. And then slowly coming back to centre, we're going to tuck those toes under and come back into downward facing dog. So pushing through the tips of the fingers here, not dumping into the wrist, start bending one knee at a time, shaking that head out, nodding yes and no, just making sure that the head is hanging totally heavy, you're supported by the hands, by the shoulders, by the upper body, bending one knee and the other. And then maybe bending one knee and letting one leg stretch out, enjoying that nice deep stretch and taking it to the other side, all the while staying connected with your breath, breathe deeply into the back of each leg. Coming back to centre. Now bring your left foot behind the right foot and you're going to bend in the right knee and try and flatten out the left heel. So you're getting this nice deep stretch in the side of the left leg. So it should feel nice in the hip, along the back of the leg, bending deeply here. If you want to intensify the stretch, try and push back even more. You can feel that get deeper into it. And switch sides. Left foot comes back, right foot goes behind. Flatten that right foot down and bend into the forward foot, so the left foot, bending into that knee. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly coming back to centre. And then just tiptoe walk those feet up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. And let's drop the head down, coming into our ragdoll, grabbing either elbow. Slowly swing from side to side. Your lower back should already feel good after that nice deep butterfly stretch. So we'll just take one more deep breath here. And exhale, sigh out the mouth. Dropping those fingertips down onto the mat. Let's just inhale, come to a flat back position. Coming onto the fingertips, or if you have a block, you can also use that, like this. And then exhale, bend the knees, drop the head. So inhale, coming up onto the fingertips, straightening the spine, straightening the legs, and exhale, bending. Last time, inhale, getting some nice fluid movements in here. And exhale. And then slowly tucking that chin in towards the chest, roll your way up to standing. And when you come up, bring those arms up above the head. Palms come to touch. And then exhale, bringing those hands down through heart center. Close your eyes for a second. See how your heart is feeling. How your breath is feeling. And then come back to that intention we set at the beginning of the class. Before you open your eyes and we begin. So inhale, bringing those arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, pushing the inner away, swan dive over the legs, coming into forward fold. Inhaling, coming back into that flat back position. And then exhale, stepping the left foot back, stepping the right foot back, and your choice, either on the knees or with the knees lifted, come down through Chaturanga, bending those elbows in towards the body. Inhale, push that chest forward, coming into upward facing dog, pushing through the hands, pushing through the tops of the feet, and stay here as we drop the right hip down and look over the left shoulder, stretching out the hip flexors. Inhaling, coming through center, Exhaling, dropping the left hip down, gaze over the right shoulder. This one always feels kind of cute. <laughs> Coming back to your center, using the core strength to lift those hips up into the air again, flipping over the toes and finding yourself back in downward facing dog. 
So bending one knee at a time, shaking that head out. We'll just take one more breath here before we come back forward. So bending at the legs, bending at the knees, and then just hopping forward or stepping forward, whatever is your jam, dropping that head down, bending the knees and inhaling those arms coming up overhead and hands through heart center. Good job. Let's do that breath to movement now. So inhale, arms coming up. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, coming to a flat back. Exhale, step or jump back through Chaturanga. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale to push forward into upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take two deep breaths here. Inhaling. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. And now let's stay in downward facing dog this time. Bringing those feet together to touch in the middle of the mat. And now bring that right leg out behind you. Bend the right knee, open up into the hip. And then just start taking some circles with that right knee in one direction. And then bringing it in through the other. Allowing any pops or cracks to happen right now. Just getting into that joint. Straightening out the leg. And then just bend the knee. Straighten the leg. And bend the knee. Last time, straighten and bend. And then keeping that knee bent, bring that knee and touch your right elbow. Bringing it back. Bend the knee, touch the nose. And bringing it back. Knee touching the left elbow. And if you've done my class last time, you drop that right foot, lift the left arm. We're coming into fallen triangle. So, really working on this in this series. I love this pose. A nice forward stretch, front body stretch, and then bringing that left arm up over the ear, dropping that left hand down, knee to nose, and then bring that right foot in between the hands at the top of the mat. So let's drop that left knee down, coming into a nice low lunge, really pushing through the top of the back foot and then the sole of the front foot. Use that core strength that we just built up to lift you up, arms coming up overhead, and then drop that left hand down. Gazing up to your right hand, trying to see if you can make a long line from left hand to the right. Inhaling to lengthen those fingertips away from the body. And then exhale, drop that right shoulder away, seeing if you can open up into that nice spinal twist even more. Inhale. And then exhale, bend that back leg and see if you can grab the foot. So grabbing the outside of this foot, Inhaling to open up. If you can't, just keep trying to reach for it. Open up. And as you exhale, see if you can bring that foot towards the glutes. Inhale to open. And exhale, bring it in. Inhale to open. I feel like I'm playing an accordion here. And exhale, bring it in. Last time, inhale, open. And exhale, bring it in. And then opening that foot up. Dropping the back foot down, placing both hands on the inside of the right foot and shuffling that right foot out to the side. We're going to come into lizard. So you can either stay down on the knee or if you're with me, tuck the back toes under and then lift that back leg up. Really use your hands to stay strong in this pose as we rock forward and back, opening up those hips forward and back and maybe taking some circles. And in one direction, staying nicely with the breath, staying with your intention. And then swapping sides if you're taking circles, really moving those hips. And then slowly dropping that back knee down again. Let's bring the hands to frame that front foot. And then bringing those hips back, coming into our hamstring stretch. So as you inhale, lengthen the body and the spine. Exhale, drop that body over your leg. Inhale to come up and really lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold over the right leg. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to fold. Then inhale to lengthen. And then if you'd like to, you can also sit back onto your hips and take this kind of like half split pose here. So either stay up 
sit back here and just hold over the leg for three breaths. Or if you'd like to try, you can grab a pillow or a block, push that front foot forward, and then just dropping the hips down. So I like to have something under here, especially in the beginning of the day, it's too much to just go straight into splits after 10 minutes. So it's nice to get a little cushion here. You can also turn the block up, or get two pillows, whatever feels good for you. And wherever you are, we have two more breaths here. Inhaling and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. And then slowly coming out of wherever you might be and come forward back into that nice little lunge position. Plant the hands on the mat, step back to a plank position and hold here. Before we take it to the other side, let's just get that strength part of the class in. So right knee to elbow, back. Left knee to elbow, you can do this on your knees as well. Right and left, right and left. Two more on each side, right and left, right and left and then pushing those hips back. Good job. So bending one knee at a time, shaking the head out and using this downward dog as a place of rest. <laughs> So inhaling and exhale. Let's bring those feet together in the middle of the mat, take it all the way to the other side. So this time bringing that left leg out behind us, bending the left knee, opening the hip, and let's take those circles here in one direction. And you can hear some popping coming from me as well. <laughs> it's totally normal, don't worry. As long as it doesn't hurt, that's all. And then straighten out the leg and bending the knee and opening, bend and open. Last one and open. And then keeping that knee bent this time, bringing the knee to the left elbow, bringing it back. Knee to the nose and bringing it back. The knee comes to the right elbow and dropping that left foot this time, bringing the right arm up. Coming into our fallen triangle, arm coming up over the ear if you'd like. One more breath, pushing those hips up, and then dropping that right hand, knee to the nose, left foot steps forward. It's a toughie, so don't worry if you miss out a couple steps. Just join us in this position now in our little lunge. So, left foot is flat, we're on the right knee, and then bring those arms up overhead, inhaling. And exhale, let's take it into that twist. So this time the right hand goes down, the left arm comes up, and then just seeing if you can push through the fingers here, and twist. Inhale, lengthen those left fingers to the sky. Exhale, dropping that shoulder from the ear. And then bending that back leg, grabbing the foot, and as you inhale, really get that nice twist here. And as you exhale, bringing that foot in towards the butt. Inhale to lengthen and twist. Exhale, leg comes in. Inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. And then slowly release, bringing both hands this time on the inside of the left foot so we come back into our lizard pose. And again, staying on the right knee or lifting the knee up. And let's take those rocks back and forward and then turning round and if you're turning in a circle remember to do it both directions really getting those hips into it and then slowly coming back to center dropping that back knee down again left hand comes on the outside of the foot and then we're going to come into our hamstring stretch so at the beginning, it's always nice to, I mean, sometimes it's good to go straight into a hold. But other times, I really like to inhale, lengthen the body. Exhale and fold. And really just make it soft and gentle at the beginning before we get into our hold. Exhale, folding over the body. Inhale and exhale over the leg. One more. And exhale. And then either staying here, closing the eyes and getting really nice into that stretch, or sitting those hips back, coming into our half splits, bringing the forearms down. 
or taking your block or your pillows and just sitting under the hips. Maybe seeing how this side feels and staying here for three breaths. If you're already pretty good with the splits, you can practice things like bringing the hands to the heart center, bringing the arms up, or maybe even folding over that front leg. Wherever you are today is perfect. Some days I can do this, some days I can do full splits, and some days I'm like finding it hard to even just get a small hamstring stretch in, so don't worry. Wherever you are is perfect. One more breath. And exhale, bringing those hands down. Coming back into our low lunge from wherever you're coming from. Let's just get there slowly. No pulling or tugging here, just take your time. And then bring those hands down to the mat. Stepping back straight to downward dog. And we're just going to take a couple rolls forward into plank. So inhale, Anjali. So like really go through all parts of the spine, coming forward into a higher plank. Pushing the hips back down, facing dog. Inhale, really rolling through that spine. Seeing how slow you can make movements. Exhale, push you back. And then last time, really have fun here. See how you can move your body. Exhale, push back. Slowly walk those feet to meet the hands. And then walk the feet, hips, hips, no, mat width apart. Have the toes pointing out of the way. We're gonna come into Malasana. So, yogi squat. So you drop those hips down, toes are pointing out, hands come to heart center and the elbows are on the inside of your legs. And then you use those hands to come to the heart, the elbows to push the knees apart and feel that nice deep hip stretch here. If you're up here on your toes, don't worry, maybe you just wanna hold on to something instead, you're still getting a nice deep stretch here. Otherwise, try and work on really sitting those heels down. Inhaling and exhale. Enjoy that nice deep hip opening. They say that this is quite good to watch TV doing. It's really good for resetting the hips after we're all sitting in a position that I guess isn't usual for our body type. So enjoy for one more breath. And then we're going to power through those legs, power through the feet, and we're going to come to standing. So all together, inhale, powering through, arms coming up. And then exhale, we're going to come back down. Let's bring this into some strengthening here. Inhaling, powering through. And exhale, come back down. Feeling those glutes and thighs warm up. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last one, inhale, and exhale, and then sit back on your butt. We're gonna come into core boat pose. So lifting those feet off the mat, you're gonna try and get your spine as long as possible. I always try and pull up from the heart rather than trying to pull up from the, um, the chest and everything here. So really feel as if someone's pulling you from the heart, holding here. Maybe inviting a little bit of shake and wiggle into your body. And either just staying here and working on keeping this balance or straighten one leg out and bring it in. Left leg out and bring it in. We're just gonna be here for a while, so chill out. If this is too much for you, you can have your feet on the mat as well and just start leaning back and forward. That's also a really great way to build up strength for core boat pose. Otherwise, if you're with me, just keep going. We'll take it for a few more breaths. So really feel that core fired up. Invite that shake in the body. Core strength is great for us to be able to really be stable in more poses, including flexibility poses. So all together is good. And then slowly release those feet wherever you are. Bringing those hands to hug your legs, dropping your head down. Good job. Inhale deeply, and exhale, sigh out the mouth. One more breath like this, inhale, and exhale. Bring those lovely legs forward, and we're gonna come into a simple forward fold to close. So just bring the juicy parts of your butt behind you. That helps keep your spine long. 
You can bring the palms of your hands down by your hips, roll the shoulders back, flex the feet, and this is called staff pose. So if you stay here for a while, you can realize how difficult it is just to keep a straight posture and straight legs. It's crazy. But for us, we're going to take it forward a little bit into a forward fold. And you can also bend the knees here if you need to, just as we breathe, see if you can maybe move those ankles away from you. Or if you feel quite flexible, you can just walk the hands out in front of you, drop the forearms down, or maybe you want to really work on pulling yourself forward and grab those feet. Inhaling, lengthening, and exhaling, dropping into the pose. Inhaling, lengthening, always from the lower back, as if someone's sitting on your lower back, pushing you forward bit by bit from the spine. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath here. And exhale. And then tuck that chin into the chest. Rolling slowly. All the way up to seated. Bringing those feet together. Crossing the legs or however you want to end the class. And just come back to that intention with those hands in front of your heart. How do you feel? Does that intention still sit well with you? I hope you had an amazing class with me and I hope to see you again soon.